Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We got a list of, uh, I think, 13 homes. So our quietest list of the week and uh, kind of a nice thing heading into the weekend. Bit of a weird list. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So Maple is the first one. It's at 259 for a two bedroom and it's a smaller two bedroom, but I mean, even the one bedrooms are going for probably 230, 240. So it's actually pretty good per square foot. It compares pretty well, but having that second bedroom, I think is a real benefit. It seems really small in here. It seems like there's a lot of furniture in here that they probably could have just reduced a little bit. Taking the, the plastic cover off the chairs, always a good idea. Definitely when you're listing your house, I know you maybe want to preserve the chair, but it is a good thing to uh, to, to keep that sort of you know nice and inviting. I don't think about a lot of model homes that have chairs with uh, with plastic covers on them. But uh, there it is, one bathroom, 245.87 is the maintenance fees, and there is a gym and there's a party room here. So it has a little bit more amenities than something like the Costkin building. Uh, Deverell is a sumac model. It's the corner, it's like 1350 square feet, 339 doesn't I don't find it holds a candle to a couple of the ones in this price range that are right around 339 there's a fair bit of these village townhomes right now it is one of the cheaper versions for a three bedroom there's another three bedroom that looks terrible and there's a couple good ones at 339 as well and there's a beautiful one at 345 so there's a lot of stuff happening in this particular price range um, that, that would lead me to believe the competition might beat them a little bit at that price. So Hampshire Way 361. Hampshire Way is probably going to face the live work, depending on where it is on Hampshire, the new live work development. So you're probably going to have three story uh, townhomes, detached homes with the double garages, things like that. So it's one big open room on the main floor. Costcourt built these once, and there's a finished basement there too. Some decent landscaping in the back. It is a townhouse, uh, but sometimes these ones are only attached by the garage, and, and so all the interior walls actually um, don't touch the other uh, the neighbors. So it can be a really good thing. Um, McClenahan, I believe this one uh, faces Thompson, so you'll definitely hear the busier road. 369, I think they've taken that into consideration. It is a pretty big home. Uh, the main floor, you kind of have to bob and weave to get to where you want to go. It's, it's an interesting floor plan. The bedrooms upstairs are pretty big, and um, yeah, it's just okay to me. 369 is probably taking into consideration the fact that they do have the uh, what we'll call a subpar location. November 19th is the, the magic day. So whenever we see a date like this, we know it's important. I've talked about that a couple times in the last few weeks. Uh, Main Street North is in Campbellville. It's on a 50 by 135 foot lot. It's at 389. And the hidden thing with these homes is that a lot of this area on Main Street is actually zoned for commercial. So somebody may pick this one up, maybe do a condition on, on seeing if it can be uh, used as a business. Um, it might actually be a good investment property. You've got the side entrance there. You may have the ability to run a business upstairs and then have a tenant potentially down below as well. So this one presents interesting opportunities, I think, for, for investors, business owners, that kind of stuff. Um, it kind of compares to what you'd find for this kind of bungalow in Milton. It's on Main Street, which may, might add some value, but it is further west, which sometimes decreases the value. So overall, I think that's in the in a fair range. I, I definitely think the three something is the right place for it. Cartmore Way is 399.9. It's about 1,700 square feet. You have this defined entrance, and then you get through that and you get into the home and you've got one room. And I've talked about this model before is that it's tough to position furniture. I mean, if you've got couches on, on either side, where do you put the TV? Because it's a straight shot through that room in order to get to the kitchen. Kitchen looks okay. A um, little bit dated, right? The tiles, the kitchen colors, that kind of stuff. There is a finished basement on this one. $399 seems high. It's where the other ones seem to be listing, but I don't know if I, I would think that any of them are going to be successful at that price, uh, just based on looking at what else you can get for the money. Scott is at $399.9, and it's only a two bedroom. It's very nice inside. It's got uh, good colors. Uh, I think with pro photos, this one would really, really jump out and, and uh, be much more impressive. 
just an average uh, Fuji camera for 100 bucks doesn't do the same thing when you look at the photos. So anyways, it's got some upgrades in there. Uh, most of them are listing around 299. This one here is really playing the quality game with two bedrooms where it actually beats some of the models, but some of the other guys have the three bedrooms. Bolingbroke is a very good price. These models, this is a Wood Lily Corner, 2661 square feet. Um, I mean, they've sold in the high fives before. I mean, even up in, in I, potentially low sixes. I'd have to confirm that, but definitely high fives. A little bit more basic inside, so you know you're getting the downgrade there. But still, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of space in this one. I mean, that's certainly not helping when you have a couch right in front of the fireplace. Um, if you're not as concerned about upgrades, kind of weird that they upgraded the bathroom sink, but not a whole lot down in the kitchen. But be that as it may, it is pretty close to uh, to all the schools, Tiger Jeet and also Our Lady of Fatima, but a good price. If you're willing to even maybe upgrade a little bit yourself, great deal on this one. Awesome stuff. So Caldwell, I think, gets a, a two thumbs up. Five sixty nine is the price. There is a finished basement. It's got one of those family rooms uh, uh, above the garage. You also have a family room down on this main level. Very open concept floor plan. Nice kitchen cupboards. The colors may not work for everybody. I mean, it's always good to keep it neutral. Uh, do your accents basically in bolder colors. But that's a good shot of what you get when you come up here is a nice family room. You can't make too much noise up here. You're going to wake the people up in the bedrooms. Double sinks in the master. That finished basement, I think, is the thing that really pushes it past 550. So nice stuff on that one there. Beautiful. Nasa Gawaii town line is 679. It's probably about five acres if you if you just do the the uh, the measurements of the lot and assume it's square. Um, I like the effect of the white furniture with uh, with some of the dark wood finishes and even the the white bedspread. Great views off of here as well. So there's a lot of things I really like about this one. You know, for the land and for a half decent house with basically two bedrooms up on top and three somewhere main or basement, that's not a bad price. Six seventy nine looks pretty good. Uh, Stringer Circle is six eighty seven eight eighty eight. It looks like a Livingston model, so you're probably like twenty eight hundred square feet, something like that. It's beautiful inside. It's basically designer finish. But the thing is, is that you look at it, like I mean, even these lights are gorgeous lights. Um, it's still a 2,800 square foot home that you could buy for a more basic for what, like maybe probably high fives, low sixes. Um, that's where the dilemma comes in. You see a couple of today's homes are like that. So you've got this one here. You've got London Terrace. I mean, this is a 2,600 square foot home at 699.8. Just incredibly done. The kitchen is gorgeous. Um, waffle ceilings in the front room. I mean, just unbelievable stuff. So we really finished this list strong in terms of appearances. Uh, these are gorgeous homes, but I mean, are they, do they have the square footage? Do they have the size to command up in this price range? This is a 2,800 square foot home on, on Lancaster. Uh, 779 is what they're asking. And again, I mean, the, the wainscoting, the, the sconces, I, I mean, wow, look at this kitchen. Fantastic stuff, but I just don't know how much buyers are willing to pay. There's always a premium for move-in ready, but these guys are really making the choice a little harder because we're talking probably a hundred thousand square or a hundred thousand uh, price difference compared to a basic model, and you don't always get the return, especially when you move it to this level. You don't always get the return on your money. Um, it'll be an interesting one. The finished basement on this one is definitely a good thing, but it's still higher than what you'd expect for a 2,800 square foot home with a finished basement. Um, you think about the one, same model as this one over on Bessie with a pool. I think it's coming off the market, but that was at $6.99 and it was a very well done home. So anyhow, it'd be interesting to see. I definitely root for the ones that, uh, that look great. I hope you do too. And uh, give us a call if you need any help at all. Over the weekend, get in touch. We sent a, an email yesterday about the tour of homes, a great way to do research. So definitely just sign up for that over there. You can go to MiltonTourOfHomes.com and have yourself a great weekend. We'll see you uh, probably on Monday. Okay, take care.